everyone, so today I'm here to do a review of Persistence of Vision by Liesl K. Hill. I received this book from the author because she asked me to take part in her blog tour. So this book is about a girl called Maggie who is kidnapped, or maybe she's not, and she loses 12 hours of her life and over the next year she's haunted by flashbacks just like very small flashes and she can't figure out what happened to her. And then she's attacked by a man with a spider's web tattoo over his eye and she's saved by another man who introduced himself as Marcus. Marcus tells Maggie that he's from the future where there is this group called the Collective who are hunting individuals and they're murdering, him, murdering them and Marcus is part of the rebellion. Maggie sort of kind of thinks she knows Marcus even though she's never met him but she she slightly thinks that there is something going on that she can't remember. Maggie starts to realise that her flashes, that the flashbacks that she's um, seeing are actually flashes of her previous time of going to the future with Marcus and Maggie has to try and remember what happened the last time and try and find her memories to figure out how to defeat the collective. <laughs> Seriously this book was awesome, I am not kidding. This is probably the best of Sophie book I've ever read. It was so original. It, there were so many fantastic elements and it just it seems so different from any other dystopian that was out there because it wasn't just a government that were ruling everything. It was like a collective trying to take over the world and I just thought that that was such a fantastic concept. Maggie was a superb main character. She was strong, tough, kind-hearted likeable and so so easy to connect with and I think that might have been due to the horror she went through when you find out that she lost 12 hours of her memory and that makes you connect with her and really want to know what happened and I feel really sorry for her because she doesn't know what happens and it, she's just such an easy character to like and connect with. When Maggie wakes up and realises she doesn't remember the previous 12 hours she is also with her brother Jonah and when they go to the hospital to get checked out, Maggie and Giona find out that they have these weird scars and you find out where Maggie got hers from but I'm still really intrigued as to where Giona got his and what happened to him in the 12 hours that Maggie was gone because we never found that out and I think there might be something important going on there that I hope will be in the second book. So on to Marcus, he was a sweet, powerful, protective character and I was rooting for him and Maggie right from the start when they first met for the second time and they just seemed like they'd be such a perfect couple and I was really really hoping they would get together. I really liked this whole idea that in the future the collective were taking over people's like, well, they were taking over people and they were combining them into this one big collective where everyone's brains and minds are linked together but they are controlled by the one force and I thought that was such an amazing and original idea that I think this is one of the reasons that I just absolutely loved this book. I also liked how Liesl managed to incorporate time travel into this with people going back to the past trying to take over what happened in the past as well and try to collect some important figures from the past and I also liked how each character had a special power and to get their power they drew on energy from their surroundings like they, they could pull energy and change it into kinetic energy I think and use it to use their powers. There were a few unexpected surprises and twists that I never saw coming and I think they just made the book and I was so so shocked at one of them and I, I, honest, I honestly couldn't believe it. I was wondering why this happened and how it happened because I was sh I was so sure that couldn't have happened ever. I hadn't even thought of it, that's how sure I was that it probably couldn't have happened. And I was so so shocked when I read it that it just, it was just brilliant. The ending was really sad but I suppose it had to happen that way. But. I'm glad that Maggie finally remembered, but yeah, it was it was it was a pretty sad ending. I give this book five out of five stars, and I cannot wait for the second book to come out. It will be at the top of my list, my to buy list when it comes out because it will just be brilliant. You can go and buy the first book; it has to be amazing, and I know that I'm going to love it. 
So that was my review for Persistence of Vision by Lisa K. Hill. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.